we've just been speaking there, you know, we are uh, ten minutes after the game, so you're disheartened. Uh, another half an hour, by the time we get on the plane uh, to go to Scotland, things start looking better. Uh, it's still a little bit raw at the minute, however, you know, you, you look at the game and you think, yeah, we've we've tried to stick to the game plan. We've created a few opportunities. Uh, we've shown good patience with and without the ball. So yeah, it, uh, loads of positives going into the next game. Yeah, definitely. You, you know, uh, Ro Ross has put, uh, I suppose they call it an old-fashioned uh, wingers crossed in the little step over. Uh, a bit like Stevie Coppel, I think it was, if anybody can remember him, you know, little step over, whipped it in. And to be fair to Chris, he's, he's no right to even get to the ball, let alone score, but he's gone in brave, got across the lad, uh, got a little nick and it, it goes in the in the top far corner. You know, having said that, we have to score a worldie to, uh, to get off the mark, uh, which is the disappointing thing. Well, it helps in the preparation for both teams, you know, but as we said, we're here to develop, we're here to learn. It's a, it's a playoff scenario, I suppose you can say. So you're 3-1 down and you're going away and you've got to win the game by at least two goals to at least take it to penalties. That's what you look at and that's I think that's how we have to approach it. I'm sure Scott will be the same, you know, you dress it up, we're winning the game. Uh, how do we play? Do they play any different? Don't they? I know there's nothing on it. It's all theoretically. However, we have to use these these moments to try and uh, give the lads experience.